I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals. Here's the update on the oil floating in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, of course, you know this weekend we've got a tropical system or even the remnants of a tropical system pretty much moving right toward the site of the main oil that is still floating on the Gulf of Mexico. This forecast from NOAA does take that into account somewhat, but there are a lot of uncertainties as to exactly what's going to happen here. As you know, the system that we're talking about, Bonnie, may be a tropical storm, it may be a tropical depression, or it could just be a regular region of low pressure. In any event, most of the wind around that area of low pressure will be trying to push the oil toward the west or toward the southwest as it moves through the central Gulf of Mexico over the weekend. There's a problem. It's going to agitate the water. And what that means is the oil that's floating there, it's not likely to move as one solid mass. It's likely to break apart, and some of it will be mixed in with the water. Some of it will drift toward the south. But at the same time, some oil may be coming up from beneath that we don't even know is there. So as you look at this forecast for the central Gulf Coast, it's not a bad forecast in terms of the oil. But the mystery is going to be what happens as the oil starts moving around, moving with the swells, and possibly moving mainly towards southern Louisiana and maybe the Mississippi coastline. The storm itself, it shouldn't be that bad. Now, it's not to say it will be a decent storm, but for most of us, as we go through our Saturday, it's an east wind. The wind will be strongest on the coastline. We'll see periods of showers off and on, and even those will be generally heavier along the coastline. So if you're north of Interstate 10 through the day, you may not really see much effect in terms of tropical systems or tropical weather. Right along the coastline, though, when you take the water that moves up with the wind and the actual uh, uh, surge from the storm or the remnants of the storm, we could see a storm tide of one to two feet. Now, the tide takes into account your normal tide as well as the storm surge. And again, this is a minimal system, so that is really not a very big number. But it does mean more coastal erosion and more beach erosion due to the fact that we'll see rough surf. Rough surf and also rip currents will be a threat as we move through our weekend. Overall, at this point, I'm expecting Bonnie to remain at worst a medium tropical storm, but at best a weak tropical storm or even a tropical depression or even less than that. We'll keep watching. I'm Chief Meteorologist Alan Seals on WKRG.com.